here's the newest addition to the fleet. Uh, just picked up a 1988 Toyota 4x4. As you can see, it's the single cab short bed. Yeah, so the last thing I need right now is another project. Uh, familiar, if you're familiar with some of my other projects, I've got a first gen Tacoma and I've got a 77 Toyota Chinook. So last thing I want to do right now is build another truck, but I have got some pretty big plans for this truck. I'm not going to mention it in this video, but um, some of you can probably guess what I'm going to end up doing with it. But yeah, so as far as the truck, uh, this is the DLX. You know, I offhand, I don't know what the DLX model comes with or doesn't come with. It doesn't come with a passenger mirror, which is pretty odd, but I'm going to be swapping those out anyway. But as far as the exterior goes, uh, this truck is in really, really good condition. The paint obviously has failed a long time ago. Paint on the sides are actually pretty good. But the biggest, the biggest reason why I went with this one is, and I don't know if the camera can pick it up, the body on this truck is super, super straight. You know, it's a shame that the paint is kind of fading, but you know, all said and done, this, this is gonna be repainted in the future, so. And I also went with the 88 because I wanted the independent front suspension for what I'm doing with this. I just, I don't feel like the straight axle would have been would have been the move for what I'm doing. And another reason I went with the 88 is this. It's got the fuel injected 22RE. Yeah, it's got 174, when I picked it up, I had 174,000 original miles. So for now, the plan is to just keep the 22 in here. It doesn't have a lot of miles, so it's got a lot of life left. Um, ultimately, I'd like to swap in something like the 3.4 liter. The same engine that's in my first gen Tacoma. But for now, the 22 is gonna be fine for what I'm doing. Engine bay is a little bit dirty right now. Um, this is basically how I, how I got the truck. I haven't washed it or anything. So, you know, it's a little dirty. Could probably use a, a quick power wash and a degrease, but otherwise the engine bay is gonna stay as is. I'm not really gonna do anything here. A lot of the modifications are gonna, are gonna deal with the body and the suspension, so. So this will just stay as it is for now until you know I move on to the next phase of the of the project. And for the most part, uh, this thing is bone stock. Uh, obviously, besides the wheels and tires that are on it, and these actually came with the truck. This isn't this isn't a size that I would normally run. Uh, I believe these are 32s or 33s. Yeah, 32s. And I think these are the Pro Comp 69 wheels. Um, I'm not entirely sure, but, uh, yeah, they're just spray painted black at the moment, just on the fronts here. They're not too bad. They're, they're not too dinged up or anything, but the paint obviously is failing, but yeah, I'm not sure the size, but these are, these are fairly wide and have a pretty aggressive offset or back spacing. As you can see, there's quite a bit of quite a bit of poke from the front fender. It doesn't look terrible, but you know, this isn't this isn't a setup that I would normally go with. As you can see, there, this front valance piece had to be trimmed back quite a bit to allow for some clearance. But on a full lock or off-centered road, um, it's still it still rubs pretty bad. Um, here's the front end. I'm not the biggest fan of chrome, but it's all there, which is great. But you know, everything is there. Everything is straight. So it looks great for now. So I'm not really going to mess with that. But here's a, here's a shot of the passenger side as well with the missing mirror. As you can see, just really, really straight, straight body. And there's basically no rust on this truck. And really this is all you're gonna see is just a little bit of surface rust in the bed and you know maybe little 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 scratches here and there. But it looks like this truck used to have a canopy at one time, so it's probably why the bed is in is in really good condition. Wasn't really too concerned about the bed. 
this is something that is that is going to be removed from the truck permanently so I'll probably just sell this the only thing the the biggest damage on the truck is on the bed right here but like i said i'm not keeping the bed so you know that's gonna go and i'll put that up for here i'll put that up for sale and then the bumper bumper which is also going to be replaced it's a little tweaked right here in the corner but yeah the rocker panels the bed sides it's a rust free dent free truck you know it's hard to find these in this condition as you know if you're familiar with these trucks, the prices of these have just kind of skyrocketed in the last couple of years. I wouldn't say I got the best deal on this truck, but it was definitely a good deal for a low mileage, straight body, rust free, um, short bed. I don't know if they have the sliders in this year, but it's not a big deal. That's, that's gonna be changed, so it doesn't really matter to me. Headliner looks good, clean, doesn't sag. Door cards look great on both sides. And the dash is also in really good condition. Unfortunately, there is one crack right there. Hopefully I can do something to get that to stop cracking and you know, maybe repair it somehow, or you know, worst case, I'll just have to find a replacement dash. But yeah, it's in really good condition. Everything's there. I'm missing the plate for the shifter, but you know, it has the kind of a cheap aftermarket radio. 176,000 miles now. You know, I've put quite a bit of miles on it, just driving it back and forth from work, just just making sure everything's working correctly. But yeah, interior. Interior is just in a really good condition. Steering wheel's in good condition. You know, everything's there. I mean, you know, there's a little bit of wear and tear on the button. But otherwise, I'm just really, really happy with this. I am missing the circlip for the window crank. I've got the window crank in the glove box. So I've got to deal with that, but you know, nothing, nothing too serious. All right, so before I start tearing this thing apart, I'm gonna head down to one of the local junkyards and see if I can pick up a set of 63 inch Chevy leaf springs. Uh, for what I'm gonna be doing with this, I'm gonna to need to, I'm hoping to get a little, little bit of a lift in the rear, but more importantly, I want to increase the, the payload capacity for the rear of this thing. So um, yeah, so before I start taking it apart, take off the bed, I'm gonna head over there, see what they have and pick up a leaf pack. And my next video will probably be rebuilding those. And and I've been in, I've been in talks with a local, well, kind of local fabrication shop that's gonna, that's gonna do the work. To get those installed. I don't think that's something that I want to tackle myself. Um, it doesn't look terribly difficult, but you know, this is talking with them, this is kind of what they do. They're really familiar with the Chevy leaf spring upgrade on these on these trucks. So, you know, this is something I'll just hand off to the professionals, just make sure it's done right the first time. But yeah, there she is. The new build. It's gonna be turned into something much cooler than what it is currently but yeah so there she is